Hey, what's going on everybody? Quick video for you. Just want to show you the uh, under construction IT Unicorn garage workspace here. My little makeshift garage office. I've got my HP Elite Dust G3 Mini down there. Um, got a little work to do on that guy. It's working great by the way. It came with Windows 11 Pro fully installed uh, with the out of the box experience of course. So I got that all installed ready to go. I do have an M2 drive. Uh, that I got for 20 bucks, a 256 gig PCIe. I'll be cloning the uh, current hard drive onto that guy. Here's my dog, he's doing better. Had to take him to the vet, $400 later, steroid injections, um, antibiotic injections, some pills, some special food. Apparently he got bit by something on his butt. It's just super weird timing because he's sick, the whole house is sick. And it happened right after he went to the groomer and got butchered. He got basically got shaved. Uh, yeah, so anyway, glad he's doing better. I know a few of you guys were asking after I put up a, a video of him not feeling so good and having a couple accidents in the house. Anyways, back to the uh, techie stuff here. Got my Cat6 cable underneath there in case I need to make anything. I've got a little toolbox full of um, electronic goodies, servos, motors, Raspberry Pi type stuff. Do have two 27 inches wall mounted. I just got these new headphones too. I'll probably do a, a more in-depth review on those. I love these things, guys. They were 50 bucks and I got 30% off on Amazon. Again, I'll give you more details later, but these are by far the best headphones that I've ever wore. Like they're so comfortable and the sound is incredible. Like better than Beats or anything I've ever worn. So more to come on that. Yeah, so I've got the... Uh, the Elite Desk Mini, which I paid 60 bucks for, I got that hooked up to these two monitors. I have a Raspberry Pi 4 with a touch screen that's actually hooked up to this big monitor up here as well. Well, it's a TV, but it's hooked up to that as well. Got my 3D printer over here on top of my uh, meal prep freezer. For now, I got some work to do on that uh, Ender 3 Pro. After installing a filament sensor, uh, Creality gave me a firmware update to install and it's not working as anticipated. I think I have a different board because mine's newer. So I think I'm going to have to get back with them. I just haven't had time recently to get the new or the different firmware flavor. And then I've got my little um, pineapple or whatever you want to call it here. This is for uh, ethical hacking. Of course, ethical, right? When I use Kali Linux and do demonstrations on that. I uh, got the Flipper Zero sitting on top of the guy there. And yeah, that's that's kind of where we're at now. Oh, I've got my uh, Google Wi-Fi, one of my mesh out here. And that gives me, obviously, great Wi-Fi coverage, but it also gives me hardwired capability. I do have a couple Cisco 3750s over here. I know my garage is a little bit of a mess right now, guys, but I've got a couple 3750s uh, that I've probably set up here and then create like a little lab environment uh, and if i could find some more of these elite desks or, or just mini pcs super cheap on sale i may do a little uh, mini lab out here with a proxmox cluster have our little network i do also have an asa i've got an old uh what is it 5505 i think asa that i haven't used in a while so that and the 3750s are accumulating dust but I think it would be cool. We can set up our own little hypervisor cluster, maybe Proxmox. I've never really dove into Proxmox, and I think it's a really cool open source platform. And then we can take a look at integrating physical networks into that and, you know, just have a whole lot of fun doing demos and things like that. And then as far as this little space over here, I don't want to clutter things up, but I do want to make some room or have the ability to uh, do some Raspberry Pi robotics projects for you guys. And just some Raspberry Pi stuff in general. So probably eventually, that's the plan anyway. Uh, I haven't done robotics in a long time, and it is one of my passions. I really enjoy uh, tinkering with, you know, servos and controllers and sensors and all that physical stuff. I like to bridge the the physical into the technology side. It's it's I don't know, something about the geek in me, I guess, that really enjoys seeing um, technology come to life in the physical form or maybe i just like robots i think they're really cool so there'll be more of that soon sorry for the uh, horrible quality i'm filming this on an old phone um my wife is a photographer i'm sure i've mentioned that before she's incredible by the way 
her video, or I'm sorry, her pictures and her um, editing is like nothing you've ever seen. I promise you, she's incredible. Why do I mention that? Because eventually she'll probably get a new camera and she's got a really nice one. I got her a couple years ago, the Canon 90D. Uh, that does HD video as well. So I'll probably end up with that at some point. I'll have to find somewhere to mount that. Uh, and then this will become a little more of a uh, like YouTube station or whatever. But hey, you know, I'm, I'm learning as I go. 6K subs, guys. Uh, we're going to get to 10 this year, I guarantee it. I shouldn't say guarantee, but I'm going to push as hard as I can to get to 10 this year. But yeah, that way, you know, eventually this thing will evolve. And if I get a bigger house, maybe I'll have a little room to do that. But yeah, for now, this is what I've got. Um, I do film some of the stuff inside the house, but with three, three little girls in there, it gets very loud. And there's a lot of background noise, so... I've also got the screaming goat over there. I don't know how good you can see that on top of the mesh, but that's the screaming goat. He's he's the goat. Yeah, so these bins down here are just kind of spare uh, electronic computer parts cables. I'll get this more organized soon so that I can have uh, maybe some mounted on the wall type of uh, storage, like um, little tray slider things where I can have my Raspberry Pi parts just so I'm being very efficient with the space since it's so limited right now. Probably get some type of magnet hooks for the fridge here. That way I can hang up like headphones and stuff like that when I'm not using them. Again, try to maximize the space. Um, and obviously I'm going to clean it up. It's, it's dirty out here. This is also my gym, guys. If you guys didn't know, I've got a treadmill out here that needs some work. Punching bag. I've got uh, obviously a lot of storage out here, but this is my um, pulley system where I do like, you know, lat pull downs, um, I do rows, I do tricep extension, all that stuff, right? You work out out here, is what I'm trying to say. Got my bench. No, that's not my max, dude. And then I've got my, uh, you know, leg extensions there. Got a whole set of dumbbells. Got a couple more bars here, and then I've got the big boy dumbbells over there, the 50s, 60s, and 70s. And I just got a new uh, deep freezer, thanks to a uh, a family member, so I really appreciate that. I'm going to fill that up with some good meat here soon, as soon as I find some on sale. Try to get the tri-tip when it's around 5 bucks a pound, same with the sirloin. And uh, anything else I see that's a, a good sale. This is my Generac... Uh, transfer switch because where I live they shut the power off a lot due to the high winds so this allows me to go on generator for a lot of my breakers in my house and run about 90% of the house on generator when I need to which sucks but it's a lot better than being in the dark so again guys quick tour obviously I need a better chair uh, shout out to Gloria Day Lutheran Church they let me borrow this chair it's better than nothing for sure but if I'm going to be out here spending any considerable amount of time i'm going to need something a little more comfortable a little more ergonomical so i have to keep an eye out for that but i do want to keep it so that i can move it out of the way so it's either got to push underneath that table or it'd have to fold up or something like that because this one i just fold it up when i'm not using it and i lean it against the table so it takes up next to no space but yeah guys quick tour of the um whatever you i don't know what we should call it what we should call this the uh the garage desk We'll come up with a better name eventually, but um, yeah, quick tour of where it's at today. It's under construction, like I said, so I'll try to keep you guys updated as I go. And I, sh I do have the M2 drive already for the Elite Desk, and I should have the RAM. I don't know if I mentioned that, but for 50 bucks, I was able to pick up 32 gigs of DDR4 that'll fit this uh, PC. Told you guys, uh, when I'm building stuff or <laughs> upgrading stuff, I tend to tend to throw, you know, the most I can at it, but 50 bucks isn't a lot. That still puts this PC at $60 for the PC itself, which is fully functional the way it is. $50 for the RAM, and then like I said, I got the M2 for 20 bucks. So, we're at like 130 bucks for a pretty kick-ass PC that's got Windows 11 Pro on it. I'll probably get this dude up to 24H2, plug in my account for the Insider program and uh, get him on the latest Canary build for uh, which is currently 26,124H2. So should have some more content coming out covering the PC, um, the Raspberry Pi. Like I said, I've got this up here. Running Phoenix on that guy today. I got the newer Phoenix though. It's not the one that has all the um, the different options as far as OSs to boot into. 
Uh, I'm going to have to wrap this up. This dude's ready to take a walk. He's feeling better, like I said. But yeah, I'm probably going to mess around with different distros. Um, yeah, more content to come soon, guys. Just wanted to give you an update of what's going on. And I know I feel like, I know I sound like crap because I still feel like crap getting over something. Hopefully it's going to clear up soon here. Uh, the girls are feeling better, which is good. But dad is still battling whatever this is. Who knows nowadays, like I said, right? But all right, guys. Hope you all have a great day. Let me know what you think of the um, yet to be named garage office desk thing workspace. Yeah, that stuff. <laughs> have a good day, guys. Till the next one. Take care.